Welcome back to Speedgrass Forge. If you're new here, thanks for coming, and if you're coming back, thanks for returning. Today, I'm going to participate in Sprinkle Donut Forge's challenge, the Make a Mallet Challenge. Stick around. We're bound to South Australia. Okie dokie, so here is what is going to be, or what I hope to be, the head of my mallet. This is a piece of uh, Australian hardwood, it's either ironwood or it's just it's gum. I'm fairly sure it's ironwood because Australian ironwood has a very distinctive red hue. So I'm pretty sure this is a well dried, well seasoned piece of ironwood. Now it does have a little bit of a lump here, but um, that kind of adds to the mass that I've got in this piece. This is just this is just over two pounds or one kilo um, in this piece right here. So um, the diameter of it as it stands is three inches. Uh, see if I can show you. So the diameter of it at the moment is three inches or about uh, just over seven, just over seven centimeters. That's that's in uh, on the thinner side, and the thicker side is uh, about three and a quarter inch or or eight centimeters. So I'm going to be using this as the head of my mallet. Now I'm going to do this probably the easiest way because I don't have very many fancy tools or anything like that. I'm using a store bought handle, and I will be drilling out. I will be drilling out. Um, the place where the handle goes probably across the thin section but I may do it across the thick section as well just to get that that mass in line so um, as you can see it's a little bit of a of a uh, an arc shape in there but that's okay what I intend on actually doing is drilling out most of the hole um, to the diameter of of this uh, or, the, or the shape of the end of this handle and actually stepping it down inside so the bottom of the hole will actually be slightly wider so it rests nice and comfortably on this. Then I'll put a split in and uh, and secure the mallet to the handle. So that's the plan. Stick around while I put it into action to see if I can actually do it. Alrighty, so I've just marked off the rough center of this and just marking and just and just marking the centre of uh, the handle against it. I'm just going. I'm just uh, tracing an outline of where this handle is going to sit. And so I've got a rough centre point. Now using a hand drill, good old electric hand drill. I'm going to just drill a hole straight through. So let's see how this goes. See if I can keep it straight. Actually, what I might do first is try and drill a couple more holes to either side so that um, it uh, I take out a lot of the mass and then or a lot of the uh, area of this hole and then go from there. That didn't work. All right, so I'm gonna get a smaller drill bit and uh, work down the sizes.
So, after all that work, we've now got a hole through the middle. So now, time to get rasping. See if I can get a rasp in there and start following it out. Three hours later.
there we go. My completed wooden mallet, homemade. And hang on, I'll get the scales and show you how heavy it is. Let's zoom in just a touch. Alrighty, so this on top comes in at just over two pounds or just about one kilo. So spot on. And because I did that rounding out of the face, <coughs> the actual striking face diameter is now just, let's say, on one side, just on two inches by maybe two and a quarter inches, and on the other side, it is two inches by two inches. So this side's two inches by two inches diameter, and this one's two by about two and a quarter. So this one's two by about two and a quarter. And this one is two by two. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I recommend you check out the playlist. You can find that on the Sprinkle Donut Forge here on YouTube. I will try and leave a, a card just up here for that. And uh, don't forget to check out my previous vids. And I'll catch you all next time. Cheers.